Hello, I'm Citrus, and today I'm actually looking at a paint product, and it's VHT vinyl dye. This is usually used for re-dyeing vinyl, uh, like the stuff that car interiors are made of. And I wanted to try this on a kit because, as you can see on the can, it penetrates and won't fade or flake off. Now, vinyl, as you guys know, is really just a blend of, I think it's... Well, it's a plastic blend, right? So essentially, it'll penetrate plastic. And my friend actually used this stuff on one of his laptops. And it turned the case, uh, after several coats, he said, uh, he managed to make the pit case completely white from black. And this uh, obviously made me very intrigued because, you know, laptops take a good bit of beating, but the paint on his laptop never chipped or anything. So vinyl is plastic, and... Gunpla is also plastic, and I also wanted to paint my GM completely white because I wasn't really fond of the uh, green color, so this is the leg, as you can see here. And after about four coats or so, this is the result that I got. And it's not really apparent here, but the plastic actually carries over the texture that it had because well, obviously the material, uh, the paint doesn't actually stick on the surface, it sort of penetrates in. So it still has the same uh, texture as the plastic does, and you won't actually fade any of the molded details or anything like that, which is very good. Unfortunately, it doesn't penetrate too, t uh, too deep. I tried uh, another piece where I just sprayed it on the sprue, and unfortunately, the, uh, the other piece, which I put on, on the hip here, as you can right there, and on the inside there, you can see that the original color still shows. So the penetration isn't terribly deep. So if you want to paint with this, you'd want to take your parts off and clean them anyway. And prepping this is actually quite important because uh, the dye needs to penetrate the plastic, not just sort of sit on top. So you do your usual thing where you take your parts, you wash them, and then clean them, and then um, buff them up a bit. Uh, the can says using something called Red Scotch Bright, which I looked it up and it's basically a sort of abrasive pad, except red I think is a really high grit. So if you want to, you know, for your kids, you probably don't need anything like that. And what I used is some uh, cleaning sponges. You can get these at your local Asian dollar store because I have something like it. Uh, although the original, br the official brand is called Poi Poi. And so. The, plastic, the color, as you can see, is completely changed, and it's still kind of the same on the inside. <clears throat> and to compare it to the white plastic that's in the rest of the kit, you can see that there is a little bit of a difference. This is a cooler white, while this is a bit warmer. And uh, I think that's just because the base color for this is sort of a blue-green. And I'm pretty sure that with a few more coats, uh, it could probably get to a color that looks more like this. But as it is so far, I'm quite satisfied with the result, and honestly, yeah, it doesn't chip. You can take your uh, abrasive pad or, you, you know, take a buffing block or whatever, and you can actually buff up or dull the plastic without using paint, uh, which is quite nice. So you can buff it up so it's shiny, or you can just scuff it down a bit so it's matte, and um, that saves you a good amount of time and material because you won't have to spend money on clear coat. And, of course, you know, you put it on top, and it looks quite good. So, yeah, that's this stuff, VHT, vinyl dye. Um, if you want to give it a try, it'll probably give your Gumpla a really nice, durable coating. There's only a uh, small selection of colors, but most important ones that you'll need are there, like red, blues, whites, blacks, grays, stuff like that. And, yeah, give it a try. And I'll see you guys next time.